Hi everybody, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. Today we have Baltoon on the color blue. It's the Chinese playing against Mr. Blade. Playing in the color purple as Ottomans. And this is match number one out of the best of three, which is for the open qualifiers of the Kings, the King of the North LAN open qualifier. And uh, we are on the winner's semi-final. Yes, there is a loser's bracket as well. So the losing player will still have a chance to make it through to the grand final and make their way through the mini event. Only one spot open for the mini event of Kings of the North, which will be a LAN with $2,000 a cash prize with only people from Northern Europe or literally just Scandinavia, I think. Right? And we have Baltoon, your typical uh, pro player that usually shows up at the good tournaments, right? Um, Concord 3, I don't know what his rank on the ladder is right now. Uh, we can check that out real quick, right? And then we have Mr. Blade, Conqueror 2, but still, I think he has a chance to come in. He's not uh, weak, not so ever, right? He's doing pretty well. Making his way to the semi-finals of the Open Qualifiers. Baltoon, uh, rank number 15 on... Oh, because... Okay, that's on team. But uh, he should have another account. That he doesn't play here since Season 3. So I guess not. Right. So welcome very much to the channel, guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Use the links down below to find me live on Twitch as well. Right? So Baltoon still on top of the ladder. We, don't, we can't reach that conclusion right now. But he's up there. He's doing good. He's doing fine. And we have the Chinese versus the Ottomans. Very good, interesting matchup on Hill and Dale. A good old Hill and Dale. Hill and Jail. Because sometimes you can get stuck in the your own base if you're or you can make your opponent get stuck in their base if you apply pressure sometimes people drop walls on the enemy they heal and then it's hard for them to break out and chinese versus ottoman is always an interesting matchup always with some with full of full of action right ottomans want to apply pressure early on nobody wants to let chinese go into the late game and be a menace but Ottomans can actually fight since like Feudal Age, early Feudal Age. They can get those free units, cheaper buildings, faster production. So they can make a good Feudal Army and challenge the Chinese. But the Chinese have a lot of answers to being harassed. Barbican of the Sun is one of them, right there on the front line, on the stone, on the gold. Then they can also, also, they can also, also, right, produce units faster with the supervision of the Imperial officials in their military buildings, and they can go always for that super scary Zugunu rush. Mass Zugunu can melt anything, even buildings, right? So, I heard somebody grabbing some more sheep. Yeah, I just one sheep for Baltoon over there. He has a good amount of sheep on his base. Yeah, on Hillendale you always have deer in your base. Right, but sometimes they actually spawn forward. It's rare, but sometimes it happens. And then your enemy is attacking it, you cannot even use them. So usually they spawn in the back. Most times they spawn in the back. I kind of miss playing Hillendale, but sometimes it just gets too, like, boomy, right? Or, like, easy to contest the, um, the enemy. And then it's absolutely just keep wards in the middle of the map. Because we have a bunch of gold. Look at that, guys. In the middle of the map, only big golds. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight big golds. That's eight versus... Not eight versus... Eight times eight. 8,000 times 8,000, that's what I mean. So, 64,000 gold in the middle of the map, right? That's kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Okay, Imperial Academy. Second TC will now be worked on. Mm, maybe you can't drop the mining camp here. This is, this is a weird angle, right? But still, you are under Barbican, so you chill. Mr. Bleed is checking that. Alright. Baltoon taking a, a look at Bleed's plan. 
Oh, that is cool. Still producing Spearman. Bleed did not change to Sipahi or Archers. More people arriving for Stone on Balthoon's side. A blacksmith here for Bleed to make sure he produces faster. The Ottoman buildings need to be around the blacksmith to produce faster. I think so far just to be straight into second TC from Baltoon. No other military buildings in sight. Some spearmen just chilling over there. So nobody applying pressure, nobody doing anything different. Alright. Second TC should be close to the other TC. Maybe here. And then you can go for there. Now, still lacking some wood for Baltoon. There you go, second TC right there. Wait, it's taking space from the Imperial Academy. I mean, it's alright. I, I think it's not a big deal then. Some walls over there. On the other side of Bleed, making more... Bear, more buildings, I mean. Scout is killing the deer to be inefficient. Ah, there you go. The typical Ottoman mistake. Building the Minaret Madrese near the normal berries, and then your villagers, in, they finish the berry patches, and instead of continuing on the Twin Minaret Madrese, they go to the neighbor to the neighborhood uh, berry patches. So you can see now he wants to take care of those berries so that doesn't happen again, but that will take some time. Right? Oh, Sipa... No, that's just Sipahi. Chasing around the enemy scout. Baltoon walling in completely. Here we go. All right, all right. Nothing really happening at the moment. Sipahi coming in. Sipahi, Spearman, Archer, and Mather. We are all ready to go through. Baltun has zero military. He's going straight to castle, by the way. Oh, and then it will be him at uh, Palace Guard Rush. Right. And unless Mr. Bleed has a huge amount of military, he cannot stop it. Yeah, we have the barracks there already. Right. Uh, that's going to be a stable as well. So maybe uh, some knights here and there. But the main focus should be Palace Guard Rush. Right. Castle Age for Baltoon. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, Mr. Bleed only has 27 units. He's making a ram too. Hmm. Right. That would be tough now because... Oh, we have some knights coming in. That's kind of a mistake. Because Bleed has a lot of speedmen already. Oh, but the knight just passes through. And they go straight to the base of Bleed. Bleed... I don't think he knows that. He's just focusing on making... Wait. Where is the knight going? So they want to defend, double ram, okay, yeah, now palace guards coming in, not supervised, and three palace guards will lose to this army actually, rams coming through, attacking the barbican, it's two rams, the knights are... Uh, Back to defend, picking up some of the reinforcements. Good play from Baltoon. Barbican is going down. Baltoon does not have enough units to defend here. He needs to supervise the barracks. He has a lot of resources. He could be pumping men at uh, Palace Guards now. But he decides to build more barracks. Barbican going down. Knights came in to distract the units. Palace Guards attacking the Rams. Spearman defending. Um, that's not the best unit to go to throw at palace guards, but already five palace guards out here. One landmark is down. 
Oh, bro, hold on. There is way more Paradox, and I realized that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, so if Pogtun survives for the one minute or two, he should be able to turn this around with just a good number of Palace Guards. Bring in some Relics. That one gets sniped. It's all right. Baltoon with such a crazy amount of food. It was because he was on the deer, I suppose. Also because he has more villagers. A 30 villager lead. And now he had the Palace Guard. And now that's GG, guys. I've seen this movie a lot of times. Palace Guard just... Uh, they don't stop coming. They just kill everything in their way. And Mr. Bleed, there's no way to stop it. All right. Mr. Bleed trying to kite those palace guards, but he's just not efficient at all. He's trying to raid with some Sipahi. Try to perturb the food collection of the Chinese. But Baltoon, he knows he's 99% winning here. My palace guards taking barely any damage from the archers. And they only have range 1 defense, they're now going for range 2. Okay, actually... Actually... Mr. Bleed was able to kill those 5 minute arms, but... Bro, more... Oh no, that's too many. Too many minute arms, look at that. No! No, 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 it's too much, brother. And GG gets called, yeah. Good old Chinese fast castle into, pal into Palace Guards Rush. A it ain't anything you, ain't nothing you, but it's really hard to stop. Guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, follow me on Twitch, and let's go to game number two.